hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x minus <coughs> 9 is equals to x uh, and we can uh, solve the value of x so here uh, we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, here uh, in first method uh, in order to find the value of x here we need to take the uh, squaring on both of the sides of this equation and after taking squaring it will be written as x minus 9 square equals to x square and now further in the next step uh, we apply here the algebraic formula in the left hand side <coughs> and here after applying this formula uh, it is written as now first we state uh, this formula here if we have a minus b whole square it is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square you see here this is the value of a and this is the value of b so according to this uh, nice formula we uh, write our above equation as in this form uh, so uh, we have this is uh, a square and a is x square and uh, this is negative sign and we first write here plus b square so b is 9 square minus 2 times of a b so a is equals to x and b is equals to 9 and this is equals to x square and now further in the next step uh, here we need to move this x square in the left hand side and it will be written as uh, x square plus this 9 square equals to 81 minus 9 times of 2 is equals to 18x and this is plus x square and it will becomes minus x square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see here uh, this is negative term and this is positive term are gone and you get here 81 minus 18x is equals to 0 and because we solve this problem for the values of x so that we move this minus 18x to the right hand side and it will be written as 81 is equals to 18x so in order to find the value of x we need to divide both of the sides by 18 because we we remove this 18 from right hand side for this uh, here we divide both of the sides by 18 so after division by 18 we write in this way and uh, here we have so now uh, here we need to cancel these two terms so these two terms are cancelled out by the table of 9 and we see here 9 times of 9 becomes 81 and 9 twos are 18 so you get here 9 over 2 is equals to this 18 is cancelled out by this 18 and we get here our x so this is the value of x in this problem and now here in the next step uh, we need to verify this value of x and here we check that is this value of x is satisfied over given question statement or not so that we copy down given question statement here it is x minus 9 is equals to x and now we substitute this value of x here and after substitution of this value it will be written as 9 over 2 minus 9 is equals to 9 over 2 and now here in the next step we check that is this value is equals to 9 over 2 or not uh, for this we need to take the LCM of this term so its LCM will become here 2 and we get here 9 minus 2 times of 9 becomes 18 and here we check that <coughs> is this equals to 9 over 2 or not so that uh, in the next step we have this is 9 minus 18 is equals to minus 9 over 2 equals to 9 over 2 and you see here minus 9 over 2 is not equals to 9 over 2 so this means that x equals 9 over 2 is not satisfied over given question statement we uh, write it here x is equals to 9 over 2 is not satisfied over uh, given question statement okay so it means that uh, our given question has uh, no solution okay because this value is not satisfied this means that given question has no solution uh, so that 
this is the our final answer of this question uh, and i hope so you like uh, this method and now uh, here uh, we again solve this problem for second method uh, and now here in second method we first copy down given question statement here it is x minus 9 is equals to x and this is the our uh, very straightforward method and here uh, we just move the variable terms to the right hand side and when you move this x to the right hand side it will be written as minus 9 is equals to x minus x so here you clearly see that minus 9 is equals to x minus x becomes 0 and you see that uh, minus 9 is not equals to 0 or this is not possible this is not possible uh, because minus 9 is not equals to 0 because this is the straightforward me method and uh, I hope so when in your question statement uh, examiner just uh, says that you can find the value of x and then you can verify it then uh, for this you need to do the first method and if uh, in your exam uh, the question is that uh, is the solution is of this equation exist or not uh, then you can just do this straightforward method so some viewers just comment that this is uh, uh, this is not a legal question i hope so this is legal question because uh, in order to find the value of x you need to do the first method and if you can verify is this equation has a solution or not then you can do the direct method that is method number two so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos